Good afternoon. We'd like to thank you for attending this case for digital strategy for the FCA dealer, Painter Motors. We'd like to start off by introducing ourselves. I am Corinne Irvine. I'm Kiara Richardson. And I'm Paxton Real. And we'd like to go ahead and get started. So we do wanna cover our agenda for today and it is as follows. We'll discuss the three challenges that Painter Motors is currently facing, do a brief industry analysis, cover our recommendations using objective key result framework, and touch on alternatives as well as open up the floor for any questions. So given the current climate, Painter Motors is currently facing these three challenges. What is the best way to show website visitors that they can build their deal online? How we can provide the best customer experience? And how do we handle the home delivery? All right, so we'll start off with a brief industry analysis. When preparing our recommendations, we wanted to keep certain factors in mind as a framework for our recommendation proposal. So without further ado, for political factors, we wanted to make sure that we are increasing our, our relevance in terms of the environmental regulations on waste, specifically the manufacturing reduction, and then also a consumer focus on reduction of waste. We also wanted to make sure that our recommendations were in line with Michigan's franchise laws, which do actually present a unique set of standards and, and regulations that we needed to make sure that we were following, as well as recent developments as of January of 2020, when there was a workaround on those laws with a specific manufacturer. Moving over to economic factors, an increase in car salesperson turnover has now hit 67% annually. So we want to address that with some of our recommendations. There's also been a significant decrease in consumer spending during the COVID-19 outbreak. So we want to address that as well as the fact that this is likely to continue sometime after the COVID-19 outbreak. For sociocultural, we wanted to make sure that we are addressing the 80% of individuals actually start researching online before moving to the process of buying a car. So addressing that is very important, as well as the fact that there is an expectation for all of the information to now be online on our website. With so many stay-at-home orders and so many stay-at-home advisories, we want to make sure that there, the ability to complete a car purchase online is available technologically, as well as an increase in demand that it comes with that with electronic signature. So we will be speaking about remote notarization later on in the presentation. This is a quick timeline and overview of what our recommendations are to come. We will be having a website redesign as well as a digital marketing plan, our online home delivery system, as well as CRM integration. For our website redesign, we want to hit several key objectives. We want to grow site engagement as well as increase online sales both those that are started in online and moved to in-person, as well as those that are completed entirely online through the virtual process. For our website redesign, we want to give priority to the ability to purchase online with that nice big button in the middle of the screen, which is where your, your eye generally goes. We want to keep the design light and simple as well with white space alongside the margins, which will help to draw attention to graphics in the middle of the screen. And white space is actually known to increase customer comprehension by more than 20%. Those graphics that you can see in the middle of the screen are the featured vehicles of the day and week. When speaking with a salesperson in the industry, we learned that the featured vehicles on the homepage were actually selling at a higher rate than those that were not specifically hitting us a benchmark of seven days average being posted online on the home web page before being sold. So we want to hit a key result of averaging less than that seven day industry standard. We also want to make sure that a customer touch point is always available on every single web page. We've added a chat window at the bottom of every single page, as you can see at the bottom of this web page, and that will be an ability for the customer to reach out to the dealership for any questions that they may have. You'll also notice that this web page maximizes above the fold content, meaning that you do not have to scroll before all of the information that is at your fingertips is needed to, uh, to progress your search. And most importantly, as customers shift their online search to their mobile devices, specifically their mobile phones and tablets, we need to make sure that our website is mobile friendly and responsive. For our web layout, we want to make sure that our site map is a redesigned site map. This front end customer facing website organization 
is the first indication of a customer's familiarity. We want to keep minimal main tabs and also follow a logical order between new and used vehicles with mirroring there. This will increase customer familiarity, as I mentioned, and it will mean that a, a, there won't be a steep learning curve for any new customer that is logging onto the site. We also want to keep, main, keep service as a main offering as one of those main tabs at the top of the screen, as it is a high profit product, as well as a, a tool to increase customer comfort, knowing that they can return to the dealership to have their car serviced. While not bold and flashy changes, these improvements will actually help the overall user experience and allow us to achieve our key result of increased click-through from the home page by more than 50%. We also want to make sure that our sales team is highlighted with their own Meet Our Team tab at the top of every single web page. These profiles will allow for the customer to have an experience with the sales staff before they even reach out. According to a 2019 Dealer Raider survey, 97% of customers prefer to select their salesperson before reaching the showroom. This trend will not disappear by moving our sales virtual. So we want to make sure that we're addressing that, which will also help us to address the, uh, the salesperson turnover, as I mentioned before. For our purchasing online process, for each car listing page, we want to hit a few main points. The number one concern that we saw when in a survey that we gave when purchasing a vehicle entirely online was having a full picture of the vehicle's condition ahead of signing on that dotted line. We can address those concerns with ample images as well as a new walk around video that will be available for every single car listing. This video will allow a salesperson to walk around the vehicle, look outside the vehicle, in the hood, inside the vehicle, all from a point of view perspective that the customer would otherwise have had if they were able to be on the lot. The full picture of the vehicle's condition and, and uh, features will also allow the customer to increase their comfortability and increase re retention of repeat customers, as well as building brand loyalty before, during, and after the car buying per purchase. These changes will help us to achieve our key results of upping purchase inquiries by 15%, as well as increasing engagement with each car listing page by more than 35%. And finally, we wanna make sure that our remote notarization process, which is legal in Michigan, allows for the customer to feel the utmost safety when it comes to their health during the COVID-19 pandemic. This uh, software allows for a teleconferencing option for notarization of agreements and documents, which means that a customer does not have to go to the bank or another uh, a physical location and compromise their health and safety. So after the user experience of the website has been improved, the automotive internet manager will have to work with dealer.com to develop and implement a digital marketing plan with the following objectives to improve their website traffic and improve online leads. In order to meet the objectives, the digital marketing plan will have to include website optimization through SEO. After the structure of the website has been completed, the website content should include key search terms that allow for search engine spiders to easily find their, web, their website and populate it during an organic search. We also recommend investing in campaigns through search advertising or pay-per-click to improve their off-page optimization. The search ad campaign should include terms that are high in search volume, low in competition, and focused on phrases that meet their customer's search intent to avoid a high page bounce rate. All campaigns should focus on the brand awareness of FC of Painter Motors, and since Painters is the only FCA dealership in the area, their ad should focus on cars under the FCA brand. Keywords for organic search include Jeep car dealership near me, Ram, Sedan, and keywords for search ads include uh, Chrysler dealership, Dodge dealership, and even their name, Painter Motors. This plan will ultimately lead to an increased number of impressions and website views by 20%. Next, the automotive internet manager should invest in Facebook and Instagram ads. Based on a Facebook business report, Facebook ads increased vehicle consideration and have resulted in a 17% in, uh, increase in brand page visits and 19% increase in brand page views for automate, automotive campaigns. Advertisements should run a location of 30 to 40 miles of Painter Motors, targeting all genders and uh, users that use Facebook on mobile and desktop and those who use Instagram on mobile. 
some demographics for you. 72% of Facebook users are aged between 50 and 64. 88% of their users are aged between 18 and 29. 75% of Instagram users are aged between 18 and 25. And 23% are aged between 50 and 64. Since most new vehicles are purchased by consumers over the age of 40 and account for over 75% of all new car sales, your new car advertisement should target baby boomers and Gen X on Facebook, while your used car ads target the millennials and Gen Z on Instagram and Facebook. Campaign should, campaign should focus on uh, featuring the car of the week while highlighting their online buying process and contactless delivery. Results from these advertisements will increase their social media page views and click through rate to the website by 15%. Lastly, the digital marketing plan should include an email and mobile marketing section as over 50% of clients in their industry read their email through mobile. The auto industry also has an average email size of 20.7 kilobytes and an average click through rate of 10%. Since the size is so small, paint promoters will have to send emails that are short, sweet, and to the point. The auto industry also has an average unsubscribe rate of 0.42%, and this should act as a benchmark for painters as to making sure they are meeting their customer expectations through the email. The best days for them to send emails will be on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and they should avoid Sunday and Tuesday notifications. If paint to motors were to follow current industry trends, meeting industry averages, they will be able to increase their email open and click through rates by 10%. Implementations and uh, creatives should be handled by dealer.com and the automotive internet manager should be in charge of monitoring the metrics. After the online, uh, after the digital marketing plan has been implemented, uh, they should focus on launching and streamlining their online home delivery process. To make sure their process stands out from the competition and uh, through sustainability and innovation, we recommend Paint and Motors officially adopt the use of UVC light to sanitize the interior and exterior of their cars. We consulted with a microbiologist and they told us that UVC lights would be perfect for sanitization because in as little as 30 seconds, the DNA and RNA of a microorganism is disrupted and killed. Professional UVC lights are not expensive as depicted on the slide, uh, come in handheld versions and work safe, uh, safely on fabric, leather, and plastic. Having one or two technicians equipped with a mask and UV glasses and gloves, they will be able to sanitize a car in less than 30 minutes. And after the car has been sanitized, a reflective seal branded with the Paint and Motors name can be added across the seams of all four car doors, providing a customer with relief that no one has entered their vehicle since sanitization. Adopting this method will allow paint and motors to save money on the consist consistent use of disinfectant wipes, allow no aggressive smells when entering the vehicle, and reduce the uh, chance of missing a uh, surface to disinfect. Marketing this process should result in an increase in the number of test drives and vehicle requests by 20%. So what does the online home delivery process look like? We recommend Paint to Motors utilize a flatbed truck for online home delivery after the customer has confirmed the location, date, and time. For security purposes on the day of delivery before the car can come off that truck, the customer must confirm with the delivery driver a five-digit security code that has been provided to them from their salesperson. Each vehicle will be delivered with a car bro branded with uh, the Painter Motors name, providing the customer with the opportunity to have their picture taken with the new vehicle for the dealership social media page and the customer social media page, thus providing quality content that results in brand awareness on social media and leaving the customer with a memorable gift. Finally, the car buying process ends with the sanitized keys handed over to the customer in a sealed envelope and a personalized thank you note from their salesperson printed with a QR code that the customer can scan on their phone, taking them to the Paint Motors website, thus accounting for observability. The key result for marketing this process will increase, will, uh, the key result from this process will be an increased number of vehicles sold by 5%. For lead management, we have two objectives, to personalize the car buying experience and improve the overall customer satisfaction. Lead management is all about how Painter Motor is managing the leads that come in. The best way to manage these leads is through the customer relationship. CRM or customer relationship manager is about establishing and maintaining long-term customer partnerships. CRM is comprised of many different systems that work together to measure and track the engagement of past, current, and future customers. Painter, Motor, Painter Motors really wants to maximize the customer lifetime value and improve the customer experience. And for these reasons, we recommend continuing on with Venn Solutions as a CRM.
Vin Solutions is made up of many different great tools, but we really want to highlight these five key products, CRM, desking, marketing, texting, and Connect Mobile. Vin Solutions CRM uses artificial intelligence that can interpret and reveal customer buying signals, and this will really help Painter anticipate the customer needs. Desking allows for custom templates to be created, and these templates can be used to display real-time quotes of vehicles, um, compare vehicles across the line, as well as view um, and compare vehicle fuel and safety metrics. Painter Motors can also utilize desking to streamline the loan process as custom templates can be created that already include the financial payment calculations. Marketing is gonna enable Painter Motors to create custom email lists. They can use this email list to um, meet their sales or service goals. They can track upcoming service dates on vehicles. They can track equity positions as well as payment variances. And they can use all of this information to create unique and custom offers. They can also use marketing to highlight customers who have just purchased vehicles as a way to keep in contact with them, letting them know about what's going on with their vehicles, bringing them back in for service, and obviously bringing them back to buy another car in the future. For texting, this allows customers a direct line of communication with Painter Motors. They're able to quickly um, send out messages to sales or service to get quick responses on inquiries and um, get all and be, also be able to receive photos and videos of vehicles as well. For Connect Mobile, it is an app that Painter Motors can download and it works directly with the texting feature. This allows Painter Motors to be able to respond from anywhere quickly to customers and increase the response time. Also, all of the text messages that a customer sends out is stored on their record. So no matter if they're talking to someone from sales, service, accounting, they can quickly go in, view those messages, and anyone within the dealership can pick up where that communication left off. All of these are really gonna help Painter Motors increase the customer experience and increase the lead conversion rate by 25%. Customer surveys are also really vital for the new method that Painter Motors wants to switch to. Within 48 hours of a sale, Painter should be reaching out to customers to get their experience. Even if no sale was made within 96 hours, they should be reaching out to the customer to gauge their feedback. They can take all of this data, interpret it, and then re-implement it back into the process, which will help increase the customer satisfaction rate by 8%. So again, to recap our timeline, within one to two months, we'll be optimizing our website structure, enacting the digital marketing plan, implementing the home delivery process, and we'll start training with our sales department. Also, we'll be monitoring our digital metrics and our CRM analytics within the next six months and continuing on up from there. We do briefly want to cover some alternatives that we consider, but ultimately decided it was not a good fit for Painter Motors. We did look at switching the CRM to another software, um, specifically eLead, but there were a lot of downsides to this, including the training time, the cost of actually moving to a new so software, and the loss of paperwork during that conversion time. We also looked at doing test drive deliveries, but it would be too costly for Painter to absorb the cost of sanitizing and delivering a car just for a test drive. We also considered the use of plastic car seat covers, but as we all know, that does not reduce the risk of COVID by 100%, and it is unsustainable to our environment. So we would like to thank you for this opportunity and now open up the floor for any questions that you have. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and start the 10 minute timer. Uh, questions can it, uh, start now. I have a can question. Can you talk about, this is Cassandra Bozeman. Age before beauty. <laughs> could, could you all discuss the financial implica impl implications of implementing this strategy and the cost in detail with a little more detail, please. So I can uh, start off a little bit about the digital marketing plan. Um, based off of industry averages, um, a dealership normally uh, spends an average ad cost for per vehicle about $640. About 50% of that is spent on their online advertisements. And uh, based on the case, if we say there are 50 new car sales for Painting Motors, that would estimate about 16,000 for an online advertisement uh, for 50 vehicles. And because our plan has a uh, pay-per-click Google, um, 
Instagram and uh, Facebook, that would be about three buckets. So divide about, divide that 16,000 about three, you get about approximately 5,000 per each bucket of uh, Google pay-per-click, Google, I mean, Facebook and Instagram. Um, however, you know, we will have to continue to monitor analytics on Google, monitor your Facebook and Instagram analytics to see which one is perform, per, performing better than the other so that you can al allocate uh, your money and budget to each section. And also, if I could add Thank in, you. Um, we are implementing the Painter Bow, um, which is going to kind of create some brand recognition on its own. So we are kind of trying to come up with some ideas that um, can help Painter kind of reduce those costs and still get the brand awareness out there. Um, so there are other initiatives going on. Thank you. I had a question. Uh, you had mentioned a number of factors, a number of strategies that you felt would, uh, you know, you assigned some percentage points to how much they might impact sales in a favorable way. And I know that, you know, uh, forecasting the future is always an estimate, but it, some of those suggestions kind of land on my ear kind of odd. Like I was surprised to see you uh, associate uh, improved sanitization of the cars, uh, increasing the number of test drives by 20%. Uh, it, it, aren't most of these uh, strategies, strategies that are more designed to avoid reductions in sales as opposed to actually increasing uh, sales from a baseline? I can start off. Um, no, I, we don't believe so. So the whole purpose of using the UV light was a unique way to kind of brand painter motors as being, um, you know, cautious of uh, reducing risk and things like that. Um, so by, you know, coming up with these kind of different ideas um, and advertising that they are using this equipment and they are sanitizing in this way, what kind of help customers be a little bit more secure with coming in and knowing that they are taking the precautions and um, that's how we figure, you know, it's, it's going to increase the amount of uh, test drives because more people will want to come in. And also, uh, we do have a slide that's on um, the UV light sanitization um, the, in the supplementary slides. Um, so basically, uh, so painter motors will be saving money on implementing UV light sanitization because one UVC light can last up to 10,000 hours, which is about a year. But uh, if we're saying that the use of a UVC light can uh, sanitize a car with an under less than 30 minutes and estimate we have about 50 new car sales, um, that's using about, um, I think Paxton has that a uh, number of hours, but basically we have eight years of a UVC light lasting, estimating about uh, 50 cars new every month. So they will be saving money, not spending anything on the disinfecting light, light and the uh, cost of purchasing the plastic uh, car seat covers and the handheld, the handle, the diver handles. <laughs> yeah, are, just, are we are we seeing here? Are we seeing other? Um, car dealerships utilize this UVC light? Um, I have not seen them. However, you know, the goal is to be unique. The goal is to set the standard and to be an uh, industry leader. So that's why we would highly recommend them be innovative and implement something like this. Uh, as said, as we spoke before, we spoke with a microbiologist who said that UVC light can kill microorganisms and just and within less than 30 seconds of being exposed to that light. So it but there, can't Yeah, but there has to be some data that you have to with the correlation of if you were to utilize this lamp, then now we can say that it will result in increased um, sales. And so I'm just curious if we're not seeing anyone else utilize the lamp, when, then why would we need to, to make this type of investment if, if you can't really substantiate the fact that we know it'll drive increased sales? <clears throat> yeah, and I, I think that the the bold, bold decisions are, are always hard when you don't have those numbers in front of you. A absolutely. And I think to, to kind of jump on to what Corinne was saying to answer uh, Bill's question, I think that the uh, the ability to set yourself aside from the the other dealerships in the area as to the fact that 
every, everyone knows if, if they're following science that there is always going to be the, the threat of COVID even with those standard cleaning supplies, household cleaning supplies that we're, we usually use in those situations. And so the, the knowledge that everything has been wiped out um, we, our recommendation is built upon the fact that that is a situation where a consumer is going to choose us over others due to the fact that they know that everything is being sanitized to the utmost and they have no worry about their health in that situation. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a question related to your decision to stick with Venn Solutions. Um, can you can you shed some light on what other um, processes or services did you consider and why you consider Venn Solutions to be the optimal solution for FCA? Yeah, so we looked into a few other options. Um, they do work already with dealers.com. Um, so we needed to find a CRM solution that um, also had that capability. So um, basically from our research, um, there's not really a big difference between one CRM or the other. Um, the fact that they are already chosen VIN solutions and we're already implementing it was kind of the decision um, to find a way to make it better and make it fit for our digital strategy and for the needs of Painter. Um, so we feel like VIN solutions uh, definitely meets the goals that they're trying to meet um, and using like using the functionality and to the best way that they can watch which is why we highlighted those five key products it'll really help them implement this new strategy and um, overall increase that customers experience and satisfaction thank you and and I, I will add in our in our research we did see that there as Corinne said most of these products are very similar but the actual process of switching them is where the cost is is the greatest because you you lose a great deal of downtime in the training process and the the cost can even be very similar but the it can take up to a year or two years for that CRM switch to actually catch back up where you are no longer feeling those negative effects. And during, at this point in time, we did not feel that that was the right decision for Painter to do in the midst of a COVID-19 outbreak. Thank you. Is that the biggest risk you foresee in implementing this approach? You mean the, the CRM? Yes. I, I think that that is certainly the, the biggest one. There's also the loss of data. It's very, most of these CRM services do not speak to each other when transferring that data. So that would be the other secondary risk that is there is, is the losing of time and, and training that has already gone into it. And then also losing all of that paperwork because most of this has been transferred to an online system. That transfer is very, very tricky. And usually there is a, a significant loss of information. Okay. Loss of data, thank you. Also, I would really quickly mention that Painter has laid off a lot of their sales staff. So, um, you know, it would be kind of hard to, to implement something new with the reduced workforce as well. Great, thank you. Okay, that's time. Thank you all very much for your time today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. Great job. Great job. Thanks for your effort.